the hook I am using is a Diachi 2220 in size 4. And the thread is Danville's Big Fly Thread in black. Okay, let's measure a olive zonker strip to about double the hook shank length. After trimming to length, make a tapered cut at the tail end of the strip, like so. Now bring your thread back to about where the hook barb is. Then add head cement to keep everything in place. Now pull back the fibers at the tie-in point and tie the zonker strip in towards the back of the fly so the strip ends right by the hook eye. Then pull back the zonker and bring your thread up the shank a few wraps. Now make a dubbing loop and bring your thread up to the shank leaving a little room behind the eye. Then add a bit of dubbing wax to help keep the material secure. Now pull out a bit of this crack in dubbing. This stuff has a mixture of fibers and small rubber legs. It really gives an interesting look to this fly. Make sure and pull apart the dubbing a bit to align the fibers. Then stick it in your dubbing loop. Separate the fibers and make sure they are spread out evenly. Then attach your dubbing twister and make a few twists. The rubber legs can get trapped, so make sure you tease them out between twists. Now proceed to palmer your dubbing loop up the hook shank, pulling all the fibers rearward. Capture the loop and secure it down leaving room at the head of the fly. Now tease out your dubbing and pull downward. Pull up the zonker strip over the dubbing and secure it on the shank. Trim your dubbing a little shorter and add an even taper. Really secure your zonker down with tight wraps. Now, let's cut a few strands of flashaboo. A little trick when tying in multiple strands of flashaboo is to wet your fingers, which will keep the flash together. I am using this black holographic flashaboo, which I really like. Tie in on each side of the fly, then cut to length. Now, we are going to add some rubber legs in the same manner as a flashaboo. I like two strands sticking out on either side. Now make a half hitch and add some head cement. Next, we will add some dumbbell eyes on the underside of the hook. Make sure and secure these down very tightly with many tight X wraps and also some under wraps. Now, we will get some golden olive bullfrog dubbing and pull it apart multiple times to align the fibers. 
Then let's mix in some yellow starburst dubbing to give some flash to this material. Pull the mixture apart a few more times and mix and align the fibers. Then we will cut this in half, mix and align the fibers again. Now tie this in on the bottom side of the hook, right behind the dumbbell eyes. If tied in tightly, the fibers should stand up straight like so. Make a few wraps in front of the dubbing and turn your vise right side up again. Now we will mix some olive bullfrog dubbing and olive starburst dubbing together. Cut this mixture in half and mix some more. Now tie this in on top of the hook shank in the same way you tied the yellow dubbing mixture. Now we are done with the tying part and you can whip finish your fly. This is an important step. You need to tease out the fibers of the dubbing. Also, use a coarse toothbrush to brush the fibers forward and then rearward again. This will help mix everything together. Now, pull the fibers upward and make a tapered cut. Do the same thing to the top fibers as well. Then fan the fibers out a bit with your fingers to create a round head. I like adding a bit of UV curing resin to finish off the fly and to ensure the eyes do not move. I'm using a product by Solarez called Bone Dry, which cures really quickly and without any tackiness. All right, do one last brushing with your toothbrush to fan out all the fibers and this fly is completed. As you can see, the fly is very wide, which mimics a sculpin really well. As always, the materials used today are linked in the description section, so check those out. Also, please subscribe and share this fly with all your fishing friends. Now, go catch some fish.